You're all extremely creative and resourceful. You're just applying it in what's not possible. You're always imagining what's not possible, the doom and the gloom and the I can't and it's not because of this. Always seeing the obstacles, it stops the energy from moving into the physical body to actually make a difference, to change, to operate on inspiration, etc. So you're literally, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. As soon as you begin to focus, it's not even a belief. As soon as you begin to focus on something is not possible, you're beginning to believe it because you're beginning to make that real. See it, feel it, be it, operates 100% of the time. You just oftentimes don't know that you're doing it. So you need to make conscious what you're seeing. What are you picturing? It's so important. You got to be able to alter consciously what it is you're picturing. And is that picture, again, every topic is two topics. It's either the lack of what you're imagining, the not possibility of it, or it's the abundance of it, or the possibility of it, or the presence, or the flow of it. Are you imagining the thing you're thinking about on the side of positivity, so to speak? So, and as soon as you shift that, this, all that creative energy and that resourcefulness suddenly becomes available in terms of what is possible. And as good as you were about worrying and not moving and getting stuck and planning out the next 40 years of your life, suddenly you're that great, all the next 40 years of your life, all that planning goes into the next two days. So you're squeezing all the creative energy of 40 years into the next 48 hours so much stuff you can come up with and then you find you have so much energy you do it again the next 48 hours right so you just carry those waves with ever greater realization of the capacity that you have as a creator just make sure that you check in with yourself what am i picturing what am i imagining is it of a positive nature or a negative nature very simple and it's not about you have to always feel good you can't feel bad it's not the typical positive negative conversation it's just every topic can either be the abundance of it the possibility of it or the impossibility of it or the lack thereof and you're always imagining on one side of that equation with everything you're thinking about you're either feeling it's not here yet, it's over there, not here, or you're feeling that will be really exciting and I feel it here now. And so what's the action that's inspired from that, right? And this is so helpful to understand also when you are, when you're living from your calling, when you really are in the state of being of your calling, you're supported by sort of this universal archetype of knowing everything is possible. When you're really connected, you don't have to play these games, but these games can be helpful because we all get lost sometimes in overthinking physical reality. So then it's good to check in, am I on the lack side of things or the possibility side of things? Always be on the possibility side of things. And you never feel like you're getting stuck and you'll never self prophesize or create that. That's the guidance system right there. When you think of something that's truly in alignment with you, it's a complete yes. Because the calling, you might now you might have a reaction to that yes that's one of doubt, right? The mind may come up with stories about what about this, what about that, and go back into what's not possible. But the initial result Often when people are like, is it a yes or a no? I don't know. It, it may have been already a yes, but now you're over doubting it. But the instant that you think of something inspiring, if it's a yes in that moment, it usually is a 100% yes. Then the process of like resolving whatever lack beliefs you have about that change is the process of upgrading yourself to match the vibration of that vision of that dream so that now you can constitute it and be it and actually act it out. Being distinctively aware of what's in alignment, what's not in alignment. So, and that includes, people forget that that includes their own talking, their own thinking. That's the most important part to put back in alignment is your own thinking, your own visualizing, how you're using your imagination. Because you're, you're always creating something, whatever you're going to focus on or towards, that's what you're going to create. That's what you're going to see the possibility or impossibility of. So it's always a self-fulfilling prophecy. So you have to be the one, because no one else is going to do it for you, except in rare circumstances. But you have to be the one that monitors yourself. True witnessing, true observing, true checking in with yourself is absolutely devoid of judgment. Yet it has discernment. The more you gain confidence in your capacity to be the infinite creator, to not be affected by circumstances, and to bring to that a creative element, remembering it's a video game and you're already doomed, okay? The video game is going to end, it's going to break down, at some point it's not here anymore. You're not here to survive. You're already eternal. You're here to play. Don't mistake the eternal identity for the character in the video game. Right? And when, you're, when you give away the structures of your c current life, which are all man-made, then that emptiness is such a fruitful space from which to give birth to true creativity, true flow, true fulfillment. And you're fulfilled with nothing. You're just like, ah, oh, it just feels good to do this for someone or to create this 
or to spend way too many hours on one single detail of a trip you're planning for a few people when you should have been doing all these other things. But it felt so good, just obsessing. Yet the obsession was not lack-focused. It wasn't an impossibility. It wasn't a concern. It wasn't out of worry. It was absolutely out of sheer passion to perfect a single detail that will not be experienced by that person for longer than a split second. But what it causes in that person is so worth the experience that you're spending 15 hours trying to figure out how to create that one single detail in their life. And you felt better than ever and you don't get shit in return. The more you get used to that space and you trust that space, the more the universe will provide for exactly everything that you need. Doesn't mean you shouldn't take action when an opportunity arises that's in alignment. You do. You just naturally operate. You naturally act. When you're thirsty, you naturally drink water. When an opportunity arises that's in alignment with your calling, you naturally take action. It's just natural action. Skillful, natural unfoldment of the video game, right? But you're tuned in to the appropriate vibration that is in alignment with your fulfillment. And that creative empty space of giving away structures becomes almost addictive. You can almost start consuming that creative space. And you're going to be em in that empty space. You're going to be so creative and have so much fun that you feel so fulfilled in that state that your life, you just want to be more in that state over and over again, that space. And so you start losing the negative connotation to dropping structures in your life. You start building a positive relationship to emptiness, to uncertainty, to non-structure. Because you know that in the space of non-structure, you experience yourself to the utmost, to the fullest. And from there, everything you create turns into gold. And it lights other people up. And it raises the vibration of everyone involved, or everything involved. The rocks, the trees, the birds. Everyone in your vicinity gets upgraded, and so do you. Even just a little bit going in this direction is a great fucking leap, right? If you can make a small alteration to your life and make one that you feel confident in, that you can be consistent in, you will back yourself up with trust over time. You will build up that trust foundation. You will build experiences of confirmation that you are the infinite creator and that you can create anything and generate anything, that everything is possible, and that you can trust the emptiness and come from your calling. You don't have to go towards it. You can't go towards it. You will experience this more and more if you just make a small adjustment now and then the next and then the next you build confidence and it's an accelerative curve.